Welcome back to the Station Bakery. I'm going to show you how to make these customized mini cake pans. So starting off, you're going to get your cookie sheet, get your mini cake pans, and put them on there. This is a large size cookie sheet. I'm not quite sure of the actual dimensions, uh, but this cookie sheet fits 11 of these mini cake pans perfectly. I usually would spray the cake pans, but for this round, I was like, let me see what happens when I don't spray it. I don't really think that spraying it with oil really makes a difference one way or the other. So now I'm going in with my new vanilla dream cake recipe that I have colored green for this school's colors. And I am filling each of these cake pans. My vanilla dream cake recipe is the perfect amount to make exactly 12 of these mini cake pans. Okay, so I've already done all the measurements already weighed out all the ingredients all of that stuff to make sure that you will get the exact amount that you need for these mini cake pans once the cake pans are filled I am going to tap them onto the counter this is just to even them out so that they can bake more evenly Then I'm gonna to toss them into the oven while they're baking in the oven I'm opening up Canva and I'm going to choose my font which is hello Audrey and then I'm going to type in my saying you can do whatever saying that you want um, but this is just the saying that I chose for this particular project and then what I'm going to do is select it and then I'm going to resize it so it's great to measure your mini cake pan tins but I've already done that for you and you wanted to measure out about five and a five and a half inches by one and a half inches and that is going to give you the perfect fit on top of the um, top and so now what I did I selected those letters and then I welded them together this is going to keep them from cutting out each individual letter individually now I am just duplicating this as many times as I need it and then we are going to get ready to print and cut these out I'm going to choose to cut this out without a mat because I am using the Cricut Smart Materials with the Cricut Explore 3. But you can also cut this on a mat, you know, it'll work either way. Just use what you already have and go for it. So now I'm choosing my Smart Vinyl, which is removable. You choose whatever you're using to make yours. I'm making sure that all of the, um, the settings are correct for me. So here I have my Cricut Explore 3. I have it set up with smart vinyl, which means that you don't need the mat in order to cut it. You can also use regular vinyl and um, the mat, but this is what I have. I'm gonna press the button here to load it. Now what it's doing, it's measuring to make sure that I have what I need. Okay, and what's really cool is this roller mat here that holds the vinyl. So as the vinyl is pulled out, it unrolls it and rolls it back in because just imagine if you just had it going crazy, right? It will like all bunch up. So this is a really cool attachment that they gave me and then I can cut it. Once the cut is done, I can cut it off here and remove it. Super easy. All right, now it says that it's ready for me to press go. And here we go. Once the Cricut machine is done cutting, I am then going to cut out each individual word or phrase and then weed off all the excess. Then I'm going to use my transfer tape to put over it, smooth it out, and then we're going to peel that up and then we'll be ready to place these on top of our cake pans. Again, I have already given you the measurements, five and a half by one and a half inches, but you can play around with it as you see fit for your projects, but this is what I did. So now my cakes are baked and out of the oven and I'm going in with my dream vanilla, with my vanilla dream cream, sorry about that. <laughs> the best buttercream there ever was, okay? Go ahead and grab it if you have not. Like I said, everything will be linked in the description below or you can go to thestationbakery.com and find everything there. So I'm just gonna give you a second to just admire my piping skills and just enjoy this relaxing montage of cake piping.
And here is what the customized top looks like. We're just gonna pop those on top of there. What I really love about this customized option is that it's another way to take an already simple item and then just elevate it a little bit more. You know, people love customized items and you can charge a little bit extra for customized products. So that's why I think this is such a great idea. If you think so too, let me know in the comments your thoughts on that. And let's talk about price. After factoring my costs using my cake pricing calculator, I decided to sell these for $5 a piece, maybe a little bit more for the customization factor, but this is enough for me to cover all of my costs as well as leave room for discounts. If you love this video and love this idea, let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button and share it out to all of your friends. Until the next time guys, peace.